Wood is sold by the board foot, which is a measure of volume. Think of a board that is eight feet long by six inches wide. We also have to take into account the thickness of the board. If the board is three inches thick, it's going to cost more than if it were one inch thick. A board foot is 12 inches by 12 inches by one inch. So the board foot is assuming that the board is one inch thick, but of course wood isn't always cut to that thickness. To calculate how much something is gonna cost that's sold by the board foot, you need to know the cost per board foot. You also need to know the length, the width, and the thickness of the piece of wood. So the process is multiply the length in inches by the width in inches by the thickness in inches, you'll get a big number and then you divide that by 144. Why are you dividing by 144? Because 144 is 12 squared, 12 inches by 12 inches. So a square foot. Eight feet is 96 inches. And that's what's giving me the large number. I'm going to multiply by 96 inch length by my six inch width by my three inch thickness. And I'm getting 1,728. That I have to divide by 144. This is inconvenient because that's not quite so easy to do in your head. Although you can do a bit of an estimate. 1700 divided by 144 is going to be more than 10, less than 20, right? Let's see if I'm right. 1728 divided by 144 is 12, exactly 12 in this case. So we have 12 board feet. We have to multiply that by the $13.50 cost per board foot. And we get $162. So this isn't that hard to do when you have a calculator and you can sort of estimate it in your head. Let's do a couple more examples and then let's see if we can think of another way of doing it. Eight feet again is 96 inches. Why do I keep choosing eight feet? Because it's a standard measure for wood when you buy it. And I'm doing 96 times five times two. This I can do in my head because five times two is 10 and 10 times 96 is equal to 960. I still don't necessarily feel very comfortable dividing that by 144 in my head, but I can guess it's gonna be somewhere between six and seven. And it's 6.67 with rounding. board feet, and I'm multiplying that by the charge per board foot times 15.9, and I'm getting 106, 106 dollars. Uh, let me tidy that up. So this one, not quite as expensive, but it was only two inches thick. So if you go and you see several boards, and one of them is one inch thick, another one is three inch thick, don't be surprised that the three inch thick board costs a lot more. Now we're looking at this last example. We have 5.5 feet. So this time I'm in the wood store and they don't happen to have a piece that's eight feet long. So I get the piece that I'm interested in and it happens to be 5.5 feet long. 5.5 times 12 inches is 66 inches. So that's 66 inches, and I'm multiplying it by its eight inch width and its three inch thickness. And I'm getting 1,584. That I have to divide by 144. 10 times 144 would be 1440, not much less than this. So I'm guessing it's going to be about 11. 1584 divided by 144 equals, and it's exactly 11, it turns out. So I have 11 board feet, and I'm multiplying it by the price. This time it's 
and that I can do in my head, so that's going to be $132 for this piece of wood. Doing this when you're in the store so that you can estimate what you're about to buy before going to the cash is useful. If you don't happen to have a calculator with you though, it can be a little tricky to do all of this in your head. And there's one little trick that I like to apply, which is instead of multiplying eight feet by 12 inches to get 96 inches and get that very large number, I'm just going to keep it as eight. And I'm going eight times six times three. That I can do in my head. Eight times six is 48 times three is 144. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, it's 144. But because I didn't convert the eight feet into 96 inches, I didn't multiply that eight by a 12. That means I don't want to divide this number by 144. I want to divide it by 12 instead. And it's giving me 12. So I have 12 board feet. It's the same answer. I'm multiplying it by the 1350. And I'm getting the same price, $162. I find this a little bit easier to do in my head because of the different way that I'm treating the length of the board. So let's try it with this one. We have eight times five times two. Five times two is 10 times eight is 80. I have 80. I am dividing 80 by 12, not by 144. And I am going to get 6.8. 6.67, yes I am. I'll do it in the calculator, 80 divided by 12. 6.67, of course I'm getting 6.67, that's what I got here. And I multiply that by the price per board fit, 15.9, and I'm getting the same answer, of course, $106. Here we have 5.5 times eight times three. The decimal is going to make it a little more tricky. 5.5 times 8 times 3, 132. So I'm getting the 132, and I'm dividing that by 12. 5.5 times 8 times 3 equals 132, divided by 12 is giving me exactly 11 board feet. Multiply that by the $12 price, and I back up to $132, which we all knew was going to be the right answer. So, the appropriate way of calculating the cost of wood that's sold by the board foot is to multiply its length in inches by its width in inches and its thickness in inches, Divide the answer by 144 and then multiply the answer to that by the cost per board foot. But the shortcut that might make it a little easier to do this when you don't have a calculator is to multiply the length in feet by the width in inches and the thickness in inches to get a smaller number, which then is divided by 12 and not 144, in order to get the number of board feet, which you then, in the same way, multiply by the cost per board foot to figure out how much you're going to be paying at the cash register.